And uh, maybe it was a poison pill, as uh, Senator Hayes said, but it was a pill that was slipped into this bill by the House of Representatives uh, to, uh, to strike from the statutes a phrase which is meaningless in fact, as we discussed in our debate last week, and meaningless in law about uh, same-sex adoptions, because there are lots of same-sex adoptions going on. Uh, the state of Florida is, is, a, is, a, is a willing facilitator of those same-sex adoptions, and so are judges, and so, by the way, are faith-based uh, adoption agencies. I, uh, I'm glad that the assignment the president gave me allowed me to do some homework. And I discovered that the Baptist Children's Home, which my wife visited, and because of her visit, that helped inspire me and inspire some other Senate spouses to get behind legislation like this. Baptist Children's Home, you know how many adoptions they did last year? 20. Catholic Social Services reports that they typically do 20 to 30. I'm proud to say that the Lutherans, who usually bring up the rear, because there are so few of us, Lutherans, 183. Three times as many as the Catholics and the Baptists together. So I called the head of Lutheran services yesterday, and I said, before I go home to St. Paul's Lutheran Church and meet with my focus group around the coffee pot after church next week, tell me what your attitude is about this bill and you know what's in it. He said, oh, yes, I know exactly what's in it. He said, Don, we Lutherans follow the law. And when the law said that same-sex adoptions were illegal in Florida, we follow the law. But when the Third District Court of Appeals struck it down and declared that prohibition unconstitutional, then now we follow the law. And therefore, we participate in adoptions to single people. And we know doggone well that some of those single people are uh, in same-sex relationships. And so I said, can I quote you? He said, you can quote me that the Lutherans will follow the law. So I ask you today, follow the law. Follow the law that says that we don't discriminate. Follow the law that says we're going to give these 852 kids the best chance we can. So I have to go back to St. Paul's Lutheran Church but I also have to go back and meet with those children, see the look in their eye as to whether or not we will give them a better and bigger chance. And if I thought for one minute that I was imperiling the welfare or the upbringing or the life of any child with anything in this bill, I'd lead the floor fight against it. But there is no evidence anywhere by anybody that anything in this bill will do anything other than give children a chance for their dreams to come true. I ask for your support.